Boom, there it goes. Is, is it working? <laughs> Let me know if this is working. Oh my gosh. I've never had this happen before, but oh my gosh, it's like, wow. it would not load it at all. So <laughs> I can see your old comments and everything. I don't know, y'all might could hear us over here busting at the <laughs> YouTube. Um, well, hello guys. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Um, here, I'm gonna let you use your phone to look. All right. I'll try to catch up on your all's comments here. Um, Glad to have y'all here. Um, hello, everyone. I'll get to questions in just a minute. Gonna kind of go through. Um, yeah, I don't know what is what was going on with the YouTube, but <laughs> anyway. Crazy Wi-Fi in West Virginia. <sighs> okay, well, I've got Hobbs here with me. Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, we've been kind of just hanging out here for the past few days. Um, we did a short hike yesterday. I did a little bit. Uh, of the Appalachian Trail. So it got me out of West Virginia and into Virginia. Although technically I'm still in West Virginia, <laughs> like staying in West Virginia, but anyway. But uh, yeah, so one well, of these days we're gonna get back on the trail. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, we were gonna get back on the trail tomorrow and, and do some backpacking, but um, the weather's just, it, it was awful at first, which was kind of nice to be off the trail with bad weather. But then now I'm like ready to start backpacking again and um the weather's like gonna be pretty bad tomorrow oh thank you sarah that's so nice thank you um so i think we're just gonna go ahead and take one more day tomorrow and then start backpacking the day after that tuesday and um so jerry's gonna get to join me for like three days of hiking which that'll be nice yeah so but we were i've really enjoyed my time i'm not gonna lie y'all know how i like <laughs> to take my days off we've been hermits uh, but anyway, okay, so let's get, let's get into it here. Um, y'all, you guys are so awesome. Y'all are all so just enthusiastic yes, and supportive and it just means the world to me. And I just want y'all to know, I know several, several of y'all have reached out, whether it was through email, on PayPal, however, and I just want you to know, I, 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 first and foremost, I am, thank you. Thank you to each and every one of y'all. Thank you to all of y'all for all of your support, whether it's just through the comments or PayPal or emails or the help you have offered me on the trail um you know mark deborah jim walter and denise i mean you guys are amazing um but all of y'all are amazing Means but i just want to tell, let y'all know that once i'm done with this hike i am going to reach out to each one of y'all individually through email and i do have a little something i want to send everyone so i just want you to know that i'm so very appreciative and i it's not like i'm not replying to you because i don't want to talk to you it's just it's been kind of difficult you know with the hike and everything trying to manage all of that so i just want to kind of put that out there real quick um and let's see here um so joe i'll, I'll start with some questions so joe asked um that mount katahdin looks scary climbing up what's it like and how difficult is it going down um so yeah mount katahdin is pretty scary <laughs> um especially at the point in my hike when I did it, I, you know, I hadn't done any in Maine or New Hampshire. So, um, I think it was even scarier because of that, because I mean, pretty, pretty much for about a mile and a half, you're vertical bouldering up rocks. And, um, so at that point that was totally new for me. Um, and I think it's pretty difficult. Now, granted, I mean, I actually did that. I went up the hunt trail and then back down the hunt trail. And I did them in eight hours. So really, I mean, they say it's like eight to 12 hours and people average like 10 to 12 hours. And so for me to do it in eight, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And coming down, it actually seemed <clears throat> a little bit easier to me than I thought. I really thought it was going to be, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my gosh, going down, this is going to be a nightmare. But it actually somehow seemed easier, weirdly enough. But by no means is it an easy trail. Um, and I would definitely say it's the hardest trail on the AT, um, like hands down the hardest trail, but yeah. Um, so hopefully that kind of answers that question. Um, if you see any questions, let me know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, guys, I'm going back up. So I know you can probably see it quicker than me. Um, thank you guys so much for all of the encouragement. You have no idea how much it means. Um, thank you. Thank you, Beverly and uh tw up north thank you for the for that i appreciate it oh 
Pineapple and Shortcake are... Oh, hi, Pineapple and Shortcake. Remember that we met him in Grace and Highlands? Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, so, just for those of you... Puddles. Who are... Yeah, Puddles. We still call, <laughs> we still call the, that... She um, that pony horse, Puddles. That puddle will, will, that horse puddles. will always be Puddles. Yep. Um, so... Just for, for those of you who maybe aren't sure, I know I think a couple of people have asked me. I don't know if it was on YouTube or if it was on um, where it was on. But um, I, my finish is at Massey's Gap, which is in the like middle of Grayson Highlands. So that is my finish. So at this point, as of today, I have 517 miles left. And that's it. So I say that's it. Like, oh, I only have 517 miles. It actually kind of sounds like a lot. <laughs> Not the way um, you've been killing it, baby. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to get back up here so I can make sure I say, oh, hi, Taylor. Hey, hey, I, I so Taylor, uh, I'm, I'm sure most of y'all know her. Um, you know, she was, she started this year to do her through hike and then got off trail. We, you know, everybody got off trail. So she's going to go back out next year and finish. And I really wanted to meet her in New Hampshire. <laughs> And I just could not get it coordinated. At one point, she had kind of came to where I was at, but then I wasn't there or something, and I just hate it. So, Taylor, I'm really sorry I didn't get to, hook, you know, for us to meet up again because that would have been kind of cool. But, man, your state is hard. <laughs> uh, the fact you hike there all the time, it just, it just blows my mind. Um, Judy had asked, um, she's been following us from day one. How did you two meet? Does Jerry hike with you often? Oh, no, stop. Here, Addie, look through that thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just lost it. Um, it's probably towards the beginning. Okay. Oh, You're right. supposed to be keeping up with this. Jerry's not doing very good keeping no, up with this. No, my eyes are this terrible. terrible. I'm sorry. I'm, I need to think I would get better at this. As many times as I've done it now. Um, so I've totally lost our question now. Oh, okay. Does Jerry hike with you often? How much of the trail do you have left? Okay, so I answered the how much of the trail I have, trail I have left. And Jerry hasn't hiked with me on the AT now. And, um about over four months it's been over four months so Since this will be Grace his first time this will be his first time yeah i'm just gonna do it this way this will be his first time like backpacking or hiking with me well he hiked with me yesterday so um it'll be the first time since then um uh, hi carol carol ask since you've done this hike mostly alone has there been times that you were afraid i admire your bravery um, oh yeah, and I totally forgot to answer Judy. How did Judy? How did we meet? Oh, so real quick, go back to Judy's question. So Jerry and I met. Um, I guess it's been almost yeah, but five years ago, a little over five years ago, and it was a fluke, uh, kind of because a friend of ours, a mutual friend from elementary school, who lived in Colorado, came into town for one week and she was like, wanted to see some of her old elementary school friends, which is just crazy. Not high school friends, but elementary school friends. And um, she kind of sent us a Facebook invite and we were both sort of like, oh, we don't know if we really can go. You know, you know one of those things like when you go to like a reunion thing, you're like, eh. But we were like, well, we haven't seen her in a long time. We want to, we like to see her. So we both end up going. And although we went to the same middle school, elementary school, middle school. Middle school, yeah. Um, and I knew of him. Um, I don't think he knew me. He says he did, but whatever. I remember. Anyway, that. but that's how we met. We met there at the, um, it was at a Mr. Gaddy's. <laughs> the romance. <laughs> but that's how we met. And then we just kind of started talking and um, it just went from there. Okay. So then, um, I'm sorry. Don't go up. Here, stay down. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, honey. Stay here. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to hear you fuss Just Jerry. don't do anything. Don't do anything. Um, I'm trying to like be quicker about this. Okay. So, okay. So anyway, Carol's question, uh, times that you were afraid, has there been times that you're afraid? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so even though I like, I feel pretty confident about black bears and I've, I've studied, I've done a lot of research about them. And of course the many encounters I've had with them over the years, but for whatever reason, when I'm by myself and I'm in my tent, I still kind of sometimes get a little bit like, what if there's bear and it comes to my tent, you know, and I don't know, you know, so I have that kind of sometimes that would go through my head um, when I was completely alone. And then when the first time I hiked in the dark, I was actually pretty scared. <laughs> and I ended up playing music like out on my phone, like, <laughs> 
the whole time. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, what if somebody's like sleeping on the trail and then I'm blaring music? But yeah, for whatever reason, I was like nervous. So yeah, I mean, I totally, I do get scared. And it's just one of those things sometimes like when you're scared, you just kind of have to do it anyway. You know, you just do it and you find sometimes it's just in your head more than it, you know, there's really a danger. <sighs> Hi, Gail. Gail and Mark. Hey, Gail and Mark. Oh, okay. Um, so unfortunately, Jerry will not be going into the Shandos with me because I've still got like almost 50 miles of trail that we have to do before we can get to Shandos and he has to go back to work. So he's not going to get to hike in Shandos with me. And I'm actually kind of like a little disappointed because a lot of the wayside places have already started closing again, you know, because the time of year, I mean, it's my fault. I mean, obviously I took forever, you know, to get to where I'm at and, but I, I mean, I've enjoyed myself, so I'm okay with that, you know? Um, so I was like looking on Jerry's phone and Jerry's like comments. It's easier than trying to look on my phone. Um, I have such nice comments. Um, I'm reading them all, I promise. Uh, Sandra asked, have you met Hickory on the trail? Yeah, so I actually saw Hickory uh, when I was climbing up Mount Katahdin and he was actually about to finish. He was coming down, almost finished with Katahdin that day. And um, I spoke to him for a few minutes. I just didn't really think about videoing him just because, I mean, I was like kind of climbing the side of a mountain at that point. Yeah, <laughs> so you're just kind of focused too. on that. But um, yeah, I thought maybe I might see him. So people are saying that I might see him through Virginia, but I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't know which way he was going, but anyway. Uh, Mark, you did spill Diet Coke on the computer, did you? I'm not using the computer, I have my phone. Maybe that's a problem. But I do have my Diet Coke. <laughs> and I did bring her computer. She's not. You did, yeah, yet. yeah. I gotta. I'm trying to get her um, to fix that Garmin. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, let me get down here. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Sandra. So our wedding video. Oh, hi, my friend, my friend Angela. Hello, hello, Angela. Hello, Angela. Uh, Oh, there's AT, AT Gracie. She was oh. a huge help to me in Maine. Thank you, Gracie, so much. She oh, was and then heart. there's Carissa. Oh, Pigtails. Hi, Pigtails. Hello, Pigtails. She was in my most recent video that came out yesterday. Um, oh, she's such a sweet, cute little girl. Um, yeah, so Mike, are you still in Harper's? Uh, as, yeah, as of now, yeah, we're still here, like, chilling. Um,. Ah, stop it. Oh. It's a cute little town. I really like it a lot. Oh. Oh, no. I like we're sitting here quietly like, reading. That's not a very exciting live video. Here, honey, don't you have something you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm trying to like read your whole stuff. Uh, uh, thank you for the good luck wishes. Danny, let's see here. Danny asked a question. Danny, what did you ever do about your knees? What kind of braces or wraps did you end up going with? I actually just used some sleeves from Walmart. And I had a couple different kind. The last one I had had a lot better compression. So I think that kind of helped a little bit better. But the funny thing is, is basically once I left New Hampshire, like maybe a day or maybe two days after that when I was in Vermont, my knees quit hurting. Like I had stopped having any, and so I don't even wear sleeves anymore. I, I mean, I just, um, I think that's the biggest thing I could say from my own experience at this point is just listen to your body. When you're, you know, if you're doing a through hike or whatever, if you're just hiking, listen to your body. And if your body is like in pain or just don't be afraid to, to take a rest. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm not afraid. Uh, Claudia, what is the one thing you're excited about in Virginia? Um, well, it was going to be the Shenandoahs, I thought, because of, I don't know, the waysides and all that kind of stuff, you know, because it kind of reminds me of New York where I could just pretty much like go into town every day and get food. But since a lot of those are closing, I don't know about that. Um, I, gosh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, see, I would have probably said like McAfee Knob or something, but we've already done that before. So it's like, I know, I mean, I am still looking forward to it, but. I was really looking forward to see like the colors in Virginia, but um, I mean West Virginia right now it's not very colorful, so I don't I don't know if it's going to be any colors going into Virginia. But um, you I'm know it's my last day, and 
so every mile now, you know, it's just sort of kind of counting down. So I think it's just that excitement of starting to realize that this, this isn't going to be going on much longer, you know. So I'm trying to relish in that kind of in. Oh, it's a bit hockey with Jackson. Uh, yes, you're more than welcome to ask Jerry questions. <laughs> if I can catch up here, I'm so terrible at, uh, apparently I'm not very good at, I'm a very fast reader when I read a book, but I'm not fast when I'm doing this. Yeah, Claudia, what is it like to hike, to night hike? Scary, yeah, so I guess I kind of answered that earlier, but um, yeah, I do think the more you night hike, I think that it gets, I think it would get to where it wouldn't be scary. It would just be like, whatever. Uh, because probably by the third time I did that, um, I definitely like hiking at night into the daytime better than going like from the day to the night. I don't like that. Um, Claudia, any news on Poppins? You know, I haven't seen Poppins, you know, <laughs> since like I first started the trail that first month. Um, I, she, you know, I don't think she ever got back. She never got back on trail. So, um, but I follow her on instagram and um, i mean i should think she's been doing some other hiking and things like that so i think she's doing well but maybe she's on here she can she can let us know how she's doing <laughs> um chris lane do you mind if people meet you at the end of the hike uh oh you don't know i don't i don't mind if people want to come out uh, i'm going to be in grayson highlands i'll be honest with you though it was going to be really tough to tell you in advance like when I'm going to be there. I mean, I might know like a, maybe a day or two before, maybe a few days, possibly a week before. It's really just going to kind of depend on a multitude of things because it's going to depend on when he could come up, um, you know, what the weather's doing, just stuff like that. But, um, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind if people want to come out, you know, like to cheer me on like at the finish. I mean, that'd be kind of neat because that's definitely something. Oh, what's it doing? No, it's fine. There's still questions. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking on his phone and it's showing, it's not showing, like, it's not showing it. That's kind of... Here, you want me to go out and go back in? No. I don't know. I think his are still... Uh, somebody asked you, Jerry, what has been the hardest part for you while she was hiking besides missing her? I would probably say the hardest part is making sure I'm available if she calls. Yeah, like he would sometimes skip doing things um, because he was afraid to miss my call. And I mean, I told him not to do that. I said, no, just do your thing. If I miss, you miss my call, that's not a big deal. But there was a few times where he missed a couple of my calls and like he was really like beating himself up over it. And I was like, it's fine. I mean, it's totally fine. Um, Oh, Brenda, thank you very much. Just want to say thank you so much. Uh, Joe asked, um, how has this adventure been for you? Good good and bad. Who for me or you? It was for you. Like, yeah, I guess how has it, how, I guess your perspective on this. Um, the good and the bad, I guess. It's been good watching her fulfill a dream, but the, the selfish part of me wants her home. <laughs> well, you won't have too much longer, I don't think. And that's, there's a, so, so hi, Jay and Denise and Lily. Just wanted to say hi to y'all. Those, those are the people that brought me from Connecticut all the way down to Harpers Ferry. Yes, so thank I you see all Jerry, so much. So thank you. You made a dream come true. Stephanie asked, uh, when do you expect to finish your hike? <sighs> um, I don't think it's going to be before the end of November. Like, I really think it's going to be after Thanksgiving because uh, I'm definitely going to get off trail for at least a couple of days to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. And I don't know, 500 miles. I mean, here it is. So I'll be starting my hike back, you know, into Virginia on the 2nd. So uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I really had hoped it would be at least by... I wanted it to be by the end of November, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to put so much stress on myself that it makes it too hard to do things. But um, I'm just going to try my best to, like, keep, well, when I start hiking, to hike as much as I can, you know, hike as, hike as many miles as I can hike in a day. That's when, that's my plan is to try to do that. Um, yeah. So yeah, Dan, that to kind of, that's, I guess, kind of your question too, you know, just, 
I'm going to say the first week of December, but we'll see. But then my daughter's birthday's the fifth. I, would, I hate to finish like on her birthday, but we'll see. Um, big red dogs. Um, will you post hockey videos after you finish the AT? Um, yes, yes. I mean, I, I, um, I, 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 wanna, I don't know what like my YouTube plans are <laughs> as far as like, you know, um, I mean, before I did this hike, yes, I was like regularly, probably weekly putting a video out. Um, one of the things I just want to be able to do once I'm done with this hike is to create a little bit more balance in my life. I don't feel like before I did this hike, like all I did was hike every single weekend. That's all I did. I mean, everything was hiking. I didn't do anything else hardly. And I would like to kind of be more open to other adventures, not just hiking. Not that I don't love hiking, but, um, I mean, this year I probably got my, you know, a large quantity of hiking feel in me, but um, I just want to be open to some other adventures. So I don't know. I like my thought is, do I video some of that kind of stuff that's not necessarily hiking? I don't even know if they would want to watch it. So, but I'm not necessarily going anywhere. I guess as far as my videos go, I mean, it may not be quite every week, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know yet. I, I, I can't answer it. <laughs> we still love to hike. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna hike. I'm not gonna like not hike. I just Maybe don't know how often. Maybe I can talk often. about your plans for frisbee golf. <laughs> um, what happens when you finish? Oh, uh, so I mean, I'll definitely kind of film that. I, one of the th videos I kind of want to film <laughs> when I'm done with the trail is sort of an, um, a, you know, life after the trail video. <laughs> you know, like. What does that look like? What do I feel like? What are my thoughts? You know, I, I definitely am going to do some type of a video like that. Uh, Bill asked if I crossed paths with Wild. Yes, he was in one of my, he was in one of my videos, but I don't remember which day it was. It was when I was at Rattle River, um, but he's in the video there. Um, let's see here. Rose asked, uh, no, I have not heard from any of them since they picked up their, their mileage. So Lacey, will you be doing any more through hikes? Um, I don't, not that I want, I don't want to disappoint anyone, but I'm probably not going to do any long six, like, like six month long through hike at this point. But I'll, I'll, I will say never to say never or to anything. So I won't do that. But Jerry and I have definitely talked about doing like a through hike, like maybe like the JMT or, you know, some shorter distance hike where we could be, you know, go out for a few weeks or something. So, I, like I said, let's see what happens when this is all said and done, you know. Baby steps. I, I definitely won't be like, okay, no more hiking, you know, but just like living in the moment right now. Um... Reading girls, reading girls, comments while trying to stay engaged <laughs> with you all. So I'm like, so like in silence, there should be like some sort of like Jeopardy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, Chris asks, what have you learned so far hiking the AT? Oh gosh. Um, you learn a lot about yourself. I, I guess I would say that's the, a very broad general answer but I feel like you learn a lot more about yourself you get to know yourself a lot better especially if you choose to hike it alone and I do recommend that to some degree I mean I'm not saying you can't have people that you hike with too I mean because there's it's two totally different styles of hiking and two totally different perspectives but when you can spend time by yourself and you are completely dependent on yourself um I don't know I think like you just you, you learn what you're really made of. And I like that, I guess, for me. For me personally, I'm, I like doing this by myself because I like finding out what I'm really made of. Even if sometimes on video it comes across like I'm just whining and, <laughs> and, and miserable or something. And really, essentially, it's just processing. You know, you're processing the emotions through your hike. And man, it's kind of cool to be able to like do something that's feels really hard and is really hard and then come out on the other side and be like, man, I did that, you know, and I'm, I'm, be I'm better and 
tougher person for it. So. Yes, she is. Um, Mount Wanderer, you haven't mentioned your pack. Did it start riding bed or are you just dealing with it? Um, yeah, yeah, for the most part, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's not a bad pack. I mean, there's definitely a couple things on it I would prefer personally different for myself. Um, but I, I don't think it's necessarily a pack that's, oh, it's a terrible pack. Don't get it. I mean, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not, none of my gear has been like that. I don't think I've had any piece of gear that I'm like, oh my gosh, that was a terrible piece of gear. But, um, I would probably say for my own personal preference and some things like, yeah, I would prefer to be different on the pack. But granted, I've carried some fairly heavy weight in it and it, it's done well. Yeah, it's not caused me any kind of pain. So, um, and most of the time, not uncomfortable. Every once in a while, it, it'll get a little weird and be uncomfortable, but then I take it off and kind of readjust and it seems to be fine, so. <laughs> Tracy, the Heinz, the Triple Crown. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Jerry, you're... Oh, there, hi, Charlie and Brandy. Um, hey guys. And Charlie was actually one of my earlier videos. I hiked with him for a little bit. He brought me a Diet Coke. I think he might have been one of the first people to bring me a Diet Coke on the trail. It was awesome. Uh, what state or area has been your favorite? Okay, so that, I, you know, I have thought about that question because I figured people was going to ask me. And the truth is, I know it, this is probably going to be like, whatever. But there's something I love about every state. I mean, I really have thought about this. And there is no, I don't know if I can really say Oh no, this one state is like my favorite. I don't know because every state so far, I don't know, has just given me some pretty cool stuff and that other states didn't give me. And I just, so I don't know. It's probably more what is my favorite things from each state possibly. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Hey, Frankie. <laughs> um, Mark asked, and Mark is the one who you guys know, helped me slap Pat through Vermont. And help awesome me out so fella. much. So thank you, Mark. Would you ever like to solo hike the AT? Jerry, that's for you. Would you ever like to solo hike the AT? Okay, I have mixed emotions about that. Um, in a perfect world, I would say yes. But I also have younger children. And a wife. Well, I don't care about that. You can go. I would let you go. <laughs> She's like, get. Um, no, I just mean, I mean, I know I'm doing it, so I understand. I would tell you if you wanted to do it, I'd um, be like. In a, in a perfect world, I would say yes, in a heartbeat. I mean, if, if I but, had the opportunity and. The AT or the PCT? Honestly, I would prefer the PCT. I was going to say, because you I, said if that. If I had my yeah, pick. you said that. Joanne, uh, what was your favorite New England hiking state? Um, oh, see, it's another one. I just can't pick because. Uh, Maine had so many beautiful, like, so in Maine, I loved the stars at night. Oh my gosh, I've never seen so many stars. It was so amazing. You could see the Milky Way, the ponds were amazing. New Hampshire had the most beautiful views. Oh my gosh, just crazy beautiful views. Vermont, I loved the trail. A lot of the trail, I love it. it was, there was some wet parts, <laughs> but um, it was so green and so I don't know. It was just really nice. Uh, Massachusetts had gorgeous fall colors and a lot of really smooth trails. So I, I don't know. I like I liked parts of all of them. I can tell you my least favorite thing about the, all the New England states is their rocks. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. Uh, Brandy asked, what's next? I do not know yet. We will play it day by day. Uh, Brenda, yes, it did. Thank you. Uh, Tracy, what is your plan due to the time change? Oh, nothing. Just I got an extra hour. With we got an extra hour of sleep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melissa asked, what's your plans after you're done? Maybe a book? Maybe. Maybe. I keep yeah. telling her she needs I, to I, I would more. like to put my, all my videos together and to make like a, um, a documentary, you know, like, like other people do. For theirs, I kind of would like to do that. Maybe put some more of my philosophical thoughts <laughs> into my into the video. But she's a great writer. We'll see. Like I said, still all playing it. No. How are your shoes holding out? David asked. Uh, so David, um, I just just got rid of my fourth pair, and now 
starting my fifth pair. Um, on the outside, it looks great. There's like nothing looks wrong with it. I think what happens with the Sauconies is um, there's like a rock plate in it and it kind of gives you extra cushion and it kind of gives out after a while. But basically this last pair made it from the start of New Hampshire to I got back to Harper's Ferry. So it's pretty good. Yeah. Kind of yeah. The only state that like really ate my shoes up was Maine and it just ripped them apart. Um, oh, Texas Psychoholics. Oh, thank you, Barbara and Craig. Y'all are so awesome. You too, Rock. Thank you. Uh, hiking. Uh, so Jackson asked, what have you both found is the be best way to emotionally handle the trolls? Uh, do you know something? Okay, so I don't know if any of y'all fo have followed him, but he threw hiked in 2017. His um, channel name is Early Riser. Um, it's a number. I always forget the number. 70, I can't remember the number, sorry. But his, anyway, his, 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 his real name, the, his author name is Trey Free. And he wrote a book about uh, Time to Choose Your Ego or You. It's a really good book. I, I suggest y'all go check it out because he um, really helps you start seeing a different perspective on how the choices that we make and things like that. And one of the things he talks about in his book is trolls, you know, that like people, you know, call me on videos and stuff and how when we let people affect us negatively, we have to look at ourselves and say, why, why is that? Why does that affect us? So I think for me, it's just been a matter of trying to understand, like, why does it bother me so bad if someone does say something negative and kind of growing from that. So I'm trying, you know, trying to do that. Um, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it's kind of like, you kind of have to laugh it off a little bit because you have to understand that when someone leaves a negative comment, they probably still are watching your video. Even the ones, ones who like dislike it. So YouTube doesn't favor a like or a dislike. So if someone dislikes it to the, to YouTube, it's just an interaction. So they're actually helping my videos when they thumbs it down. I don't know. So I, I've grown, I've definitely grown from it. And like, I don't feel really that bothered anymore by that. Not, not really. So, um, Is Jerry going to hike? Reed asked if you're going to hike with me and how far do you have to go? Um, he's going to hike for three days yeah, <laughs> and three then he days. gets to go to work. So some of, one of us has to do, work a job. <laughs> I said, so I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> uh, Dan asked if you'll do an after the hike live stream. Yeah. I mean, if you guys want me to, I feel like I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like my live streams were so bad. I'm like, maybe they're not as bad as I think, but in my head, I'm like, this is going to be horrible because I don't go back and watch these. So I really don't know <laughs> how awful they are. Uh, Brad asked if you rest, did dress up for Halloween. Yes, I did. But you don't get to know until you watch the video, which will come out tomorrow. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. We have fun. <laughs> well, unless you follow me on Instagram and then you'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe asked if you'll be hiking the roller coaster. Yes, he's going to be doing the roller coaster with me. Roller coaster. I told you there's a fun ride on the AT. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is, I think Claudia asked if I'm still planning on getting a tattoo. Yes, yes. I'm going to finish out my arm. I'm just going to be a tatted girl, at least on this arm. I don't know if I'll do anything on my other arm or not. But um, John asked, did you follow any other AT through hikers that posted their AT adventures on YouTube? So I do, yeah, I do. Like, I am subscribed to people, but I have not watched any YouTube videos since I've been on the trail. I just, it's, it, I just don't have time for it. But when I get off the trail, then yeah, I'm definitely going to be going and watching. Uh, like I like to, I would like to watch Wild and Hickory, and there's a few other people too that uh, my mom. I have that. So really, my mom's kept me up to date because my mom watches a lot of these people. She watches like Campfire Confidential and a few other people. Uh, so I definitely have to like try if I can to like go back and watch some of those. Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, but right now. Yeah, it's just, it's impossible to, to watch anything. And I'm really bad, like, right now, like, I'll post stuff, like, on Instagram, you know, and Facebook, but I just don't really, like, get on social media very much. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like I've missed out the past year. I have no idea what's going on in anybody's lives at all. Um, Melanie, you asked if I had any standout moments, memories from the trail so far, and what's your favorite trail in the Smokies? Uh, so my favorite trail, okay, so 
an easy answer first is my favorite trail in the Smokies is Catalucci Divide Trail, which takes you up to Gooseberry Knob in the swag. The most and it takes you up to Hemfield place. Bald. Yes. And that is my absolute favorite place, my partially day. because that's where Jerry proposed to me. But um, I don't know. It's just a beautiful section. And in the fall, it is, oh my God, it's, it's so amazing. It's so, yeah, that's totally my favorite. Um, and do I have any standout moments, memories? Yes, I do. I have a lot. There's a lot going on in here. Um, I think I'm still... <laughs> that's not a funny. Oh, I, That's... I'm mean, not. <laughs> She's constantly that's processing. Um, yeah, uh, there's definitely a lot going up in there. Which is a good I thing. feel like all those memories and moments will start flooding back, you know, once I finish. Um, it's almost like I'm still sort of processing it all. So like, like in the moment right now to be like, Oh, I remember blah, blah, blah. I mean, I definitely remember things. Um, I mean, for instance, like cowboy camping. I mean, that was definitely, a, that's a awesome experience that I've never done. And that was really cool. Um, being a layout, look out at all the stars. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, the, some of the sunrises and the sunsets, I remember being, um, Camping alone up, uh, this was when I was in the Rhone Highlands, and I forgot what summit I was at. I forgot the name of it, but, you know, staying up there, that was really memorable in my, in my memory right now. But so many memories. I mean, so many just, even some of the little things, even some of the stuff that was, like, really hard. And that's why I'm so happy I have video, videoed every day to be able to go kind of go back and remember it better. Um, yeah, uh, Eric asked, what's the easiest part of Virginia? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't hyped enough of Virginia to answer that question yet. Uh, and anyway, love you, mom. Yes, love you, Frankie. Uh, wonder if my kids are on here. Sometimes they're on here and then I don't find out till later. So Austin and Ashley, if you're on here, hi. Alex. Love <laughs> you guys. if you're on here. Hello, we love you all. Love you all. Uh, just in case. I miss y'all. Um... Wow, let's see here. How has this pandemic affected your through hike on trail? This is Abigail asking. On trail and in town, uh, besides having to flip flop, any tips for people through hiking next year with this pandemic? Um, so <clears throat> it's, I mean, it's obviously definitely affected me in the fact of, I feel like how long it's taken me. I mean, I think it would have taken me longer than most anyway just because of my hiking style my through hiking style i guess i should say but having to get off trail for two full months and then going back um i think it kind of changed a lot of things for me because when i was on trail i just got on trail legs i was feeling pretty good i was starting to make like i was averaging like 15 mile days <clears throat> and then it was like you know i got off trail and of course because of I was feeling really depressed because I wasn't hiking and all that stuff. I just didn't do anything. And so then when I got back on trail, I had completely lost my trail legs. And then um, between that and then I was pretty much getting back on trail. Like, like the weather had completely changed. It went from being like really cold to being hot. And so then I wasn't acclimated to that. And I don't know. So there was... I guess all of those factors that went into um, just affecting the hike itself. And then as far as going into town, honestly, in a lot of ways, I don't feel like it was affected. Like I didn't, like being on the trail, you almost completely would forget that there was a pandemic going on, you know, at times because there were still shuttles, people still picking people up, still places to stay. Uh, stores open. I mean, I guess the biggest thing is, you know, you had to wear a mask, you know, you're going to town, you know, you always had to put a mask on and there was always, you know, information about social distancing and things like that. But, and of course, I guess as far as tips go, um, I mean, I guess just try the best you can to, I would definitely recommend having the gut hook app, downloading that. Um, having the AWOL guide, I think is also very help helpful, but just kind of being aware of what's open, what's not open. Um, I know for me personally, like 
going through Massachusetts. Um, I suppose I could have just broke the rules and camped because a lot of other people were doing it. I'm sure there's not a ranger who's even maintaining it. I certainly never saw any park employees on the trail. But just for me, for my personal choices, I didn't want to do something that I wasn't supposed to be doing. So that's why I slide packed that. And that was important to me to not spend the night in the woods through Massachusetts. So I don't know, I guess you just have to decide. I don't know what next year is gonna bring as far as closures and things like that. But um, I think just be, no, have, just know, try to know as much as you can ahead of time so that you're not surprised and like, You'll find out in tomorrow's video, but... Have a plan B. <laughs> Always have a plan B. <laughs> we can tell Stay them. Tuned. They have to watch it tomorrow. Uh, how is baby Yoda holding up? He's doing great. He's doing awesome. Look, he still looks great. He's got a little bit of dirt on him, but he's done good. Look, he made it all the way. He's got one state left. I'm so proud of him. He stayed in my pack. I haven't lost him, which is pretty amazing, you all, considering how many things I've lost on this trail. It's kind of scary. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, hip hikes and adventure asked if I've lost or gained weight. Is there a food you can't stand? I have lost weight. Uh, yes, I has. don't honestly know how much weight because I don't really go around weighing myself much. But I know that I've probably lost, I've lost at least one full clothing size down. But maybe more, almost like two she, clothing sizes. She looks sizes. like she's lost quite a bit. Actually. Um, and is there any food you can't stand? Um, I don't know. It just depends sometimes. Sometimes, like, for a little bit, I was like ramen, bleh, and, no, and then I was like north sides, bleh, and then sometimes I was like cliff bars, bleh, and then later I'll be like, eh, you know, I'll just get a cliff bar. <laughs> so, I, I, overall, I just am not as hungry on the trail as I was going through like Maine and New Hampshire. And maybe just because I was working harder through those states. I don't know. Um, own, um, positives in both. I mean, I guess I have to say my personality type, I probably just do better on my own um, just because of I get kind of a lot of anxiety. Like if I'm, I, I, cause here's the thing, even when I was with a trampoline for a little bit, most of the time I was hiking by myself. Like I so I was really hiking with anyone. How'd you fix it last time? Did you go out and go back in? Am I here? Um, uh -oh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not getting any. Okay, Claudia, can you hear you? Can you see me? Can you see Yay. me? Yay, okay, because okay. it's, oh you're starting to get the buffering. The, it must be the Wi-Fi here. Yeah, it's spotty. Oh my gosh, okay, I don't even know how to bring it back up now. Uh, Great. Uh, hold on. Sorry, we lost your all's comments. Yeah, the Wi-Fi has actually not been bad here. I don't know what the deal is, and so now I've already lost it. It comes and goes, and they By change the, way, my the hair, code so my many hair looks days. horrible. I mean, I did wash it when I got here, and I showered, but I haven't washed my hair. I, I'm not showered it's in three kind, days. It's kind of, <laughs> <laughs> don't listen. We're really clean people. We're not disgusting. Normally we okay, are. we are disgusting. But we're whatever. We've been pretty disgusting. You do get used to not showering, and then you just kind of be like, oh, yeah, I need to shower. <laughs> Because I should shower. Usually I love the showers, but I guess I have been off trail for a couple days now. So, um, so I'm so sorry. I uh, said completely. Oh, good. So anyway, trembling, you know, trembling. I think it just depends on your personality. I think if you're more introverted and you're and and I understand. I think um, so. Introverted meaning that you're someone who gets like your energy from kind of having time to yourself. And I'm definitely that person. And if I'm around people like for too many days in a row, I just get kind of grumpy and it's not pretty. So anyway, I, I just do good when I can kind of be to myself for a while. I don't know. So uh, it was, you know, it's definitely nice having people around through like some of the harder states and knowing I have people at camp all the time. That's, that's the one thing I miss about not hiking around, like there being other people around is, 
you know, I may have to stay alone at the a campsite. And it's it's not even, I don't even know why that even is a big deal. I should be like, yay, great. But for some reason, I don't know. I, I don't know. So like I said, sometimes I just get that whole bear thing in my head, which is so silly. I mean, I just saw a bear the other day. And I, he was even staring at me. He was staring me down. And I was just like, what are you doing? And he just took off and... But I don't know. You know, you just always think the worst. I think that's what it comes down to is your imagination runs wild with you. But that bear yeah. knew what was best. And I you told him to leave. He uh, okay, let me see here. Oh, Brandon said we were inspiration. Oh. Do you, oh, uh, do you, westerly, do you size up half or one size in your shoes? One full size. So, um, no. One and a half. So, but that's because mine are narrow and I'm have a wide foot. So, I'll, yeah, I have to buy 10 and a half in my shoes. And I would normally wear like a nine. Um, and I guess if I was going to have a size bigger, then I guess it'd be like nine and a half. But I used to be an eight and a half. So, I don't know. Um, Harpreet. I hope I said that right. Ask which AT sections would you recommend to someone who doesn't have time to do the entire trail? Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. I guess it depends mm. on what you're going for. Um so well, let's see. I guess some um, Well that's that's kinda tough because I guess it depends on what where you live. I mean, because I I definitely think there's like I said, every state has some favorites in it. Um I definitely one of my favorite areas though was like the Rhone Highlands. I mean that's really cool. Um, also, I really liked Big Bald. That was in, I think, Tennessee. I think that's where that was. And then, of course, um, there's a the Franconia Ridge. I hope I said that right. Franconia Ridge in New Hampshire. That's a really epic hike. I mean, it's hard. And you're going to do some bouldering. But if you're cool with that, it's a really, it's a really awesome hike. So, and then... Gosh, I don't know. Um, I know there's some other good sections, but I guess that's the two I can think of right, right offhand. <laughs> um, Wait, here's a quick question. You're not supposed to ask the questions. <laughs> You're not here. You're supposed to be answering questions. I'm curious. How are you, babe? What state had the best shelters to stay at if you had Oh, to stay I don't know. I did stay at very many shelters. I know, I'm just saying, but if you had to. Oh, I don't. I can't answer that yet. Okay. Let me get through Virginia. Right, I, I, feel like, I feel like it was Virginia when we went through that little bit. But. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> will you be going back to a job after the AT? I mean, yeah, for sure, definitely. It's I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> no way, man. I've got a sugar daddy. I'm going to stay home now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll live on love. And, oh, yeah, that goes for it. Now, I definitely will have to, obviously, you know, start some kind of steady employment. Um, I don't know what that's going to look like yet. I don't know what the future holds. And I, that's one of the things the trail helps you learn is just stop thinking about the future. Because yeah, you can plan all day long and it ain't going to do you any good. So you might as well just kind of sort of plan and sort of have an idea, but sort of just take it day, day at a time. Uh, Mark asked, how many things did you lose on the trail? Uh, I lost count. Some hiker, <laughs> although look, some hiker in May saw said he saw a moose with a bra stuck on his antlers. Okay, I can't. I don't know if you're joking about that or if that really happened. But if that happened, if that was that's your bra, hilarious. That's, wow, that'd be hilarious. But that's probably not happening. Figures, I'm, yeah, it'd be, it'd be my luck. A moose that I couldn't ever see. That's one thing I regret. I like Mark's sense of humor. <laughs> that's funny. I'm totally. Uh, Joe asked, "Is Charlie's buggy a good hike?" Yes. Yes. It's a great hike. So one definitely do that. That's a, and that's on the AT. So yeah, do that. Uh, Rose asked, have you ever read the book about the first woman to hike the AT? Yes, I did. I read that, actually. Well, I was on the trail. I know. Weird. I, I, I'm a pretty fast reader. I think I read the book in like a day. Uh, I just had a day off or something, and somehow I had time to read it. I have no idea how that happened. But um, uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, there's mom. Oh, hi, mama bear. Oh, yeah, I'm in Virginia. <laughs> I was going to, like, reach out to you and be like, hey, I'm in Virginia. If you, you know, I, I have to, I have to contact you. So see if you're, when you can come out. Uh, Chop and Lover asked, the hike has really changed you. You were already a fantastic, vibrant and refreshed. Oh, well, that's sweet. I appreciate that. Um, Liz asked, did you like Maine? I did like Maine. I actually thought Maine was a, 
just, it's funny, no one ever talks about Maine. You know, they always talk about New Hampshire and how hard New Hampshire is, but Maine is a tough state. Just want to tell y'all. And if you're going northbound, like, honestly, I'm so glad I flipped because <laughs> I was just thinking, if you're a northbounder and you get to the your last 500, it is the hardest 500 in the entire hike. And it's just crazy. It's so safe to the last. And it's funny because another perception is, well, by that point, you've hiked all these miles and you're super tough and strong. No, by that time, you're wore out. You're tired. And now you've got to go hike the hardest section of the trail. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Philip <coughs> um, uh, asked, did you ever see anyone injured that had to be rescued? I never personally saw anyone. I had heard about some people, but I never saw anyone. Um, yeah, prayers and well wishes to those people that were. And Danny asked, what was the bad state to hike? I mean, really, I, I don't think there was a bad state. I mean, they all have their niche. I mean, I think that's kind of by design. You know, Pennsylvania is known for rocks, but the funny thing is, is every state of North has rocks. Every state. Um, New Hampshire is known for its climbs and things like that. Uh, Maine's known for its ruggedness. Vermont's known for its mud, although actually I didn't really see mud. I saw just um flooded trails more than mud but um i don't know i mean but i wouldn't say bad i would just say challenging parts of the trail uh well thank you rose i appreciate that <laughs> uh debbie i'm gonna miss seeing your videos when you finish well you could go back and like rewatch all of them again <laughs> I'll have more videos, I'm sure. I'm not going to, like, quit doing videos, but it may not be. It's obviously not going to be daily videos like, you know, you're getting now. But, um, um, but yeah, if y'all have any video ideas, I mean, let me know. <laughs> Danny, Bigfoot with braids. That's what Jerry should have. He should have been Bigfoot. I don't know. <laughs> he likes Bigfoot. I love Bigfoot. Um, I'm going through all the questions. Uh, I feel like, huh, I'll, I'll you. how often do you shower and what <laughs> food gave you the most energy? How often did I shower? Um, I always did, took a shower when I got into town. So I would say probably every four days. I mean, most of the time. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, until I've been off trail like for a few days and then I don't shower. I'm like, oh, why am I showering? Oh, uh, what food gave you the most energy? Okay, so protein shakes. That's, uh, I started doing, I did this this past, I guess like the past month mm -hmm. or so, month and a half. I've been doing Carnation Instant Breakfast with a protein uh, powder. Yeah, it's, it made a huge difference in my energy. So, That's um, awesome. So glad you two are back together. Sorry you didn't oh. get a moose on video. Video if you see Rocky the flying squirrel, remind him to tell Bull Week well, he owes you a video. <laughs> <laughs> that mountain called said that. That's hilarious. Okay, you rock, dude. Uh, Colleen asked how much weight in food was the most you hiked with so far. Uh, you know I never measured my food bag, but I I guess the most I carried in food would have been like what would have been equivalent to six days because back when I was like having really bad hiker hunger. And so I was eating double the food. Uh, so I would carry food for three days, but it was basically six days of food because it was double the amount. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, Surf and Stream Fisher asked, what is the state you need to complete? Virginia. So I am just started Virginia and I have to complete uh, 517 miles of Virginia. And I will finish in Grayson Highlands. That is what I have lived. Uh, Gail, I said, Mark wants a video of you doing zip line. I think disc golf. <laughs> <laughs> How about both? Zip line. I don't know about that. We'll see. I know I've lost my, I, I had a very, um, more of a braver disposition about doing things back a few years ago when, after I went skydiving, but it's like I lost all of it and I'm like, oh. Um, <clears throat> Lisa Lou, did you do you find yourself cooking less and eating more wraps and bars? Yes. In fact, we were getting our food for the three days we're going to be out with him. Well, he's going to be out with me. And I mean, we did buy a couple of dinners, but it's sort of like, oh, we don't really want to cook. So 
yeah, it was like a lot of bars. Because I just, I don't know, I just don't feel like. It's just doing too it. much work. Unless it's cold. <laughs> Philip said, I think I will go for treatment for withdrawal symptoms when you finish. Um, let's see. Kyridge Jumper said, We'd love a really in depth gear review when you're finished on off trail. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I can do that. Um, the funny thing is, is I, I would not ever call myself anybody who's like some kind of gear, like nerd. Like, I don't feel like I know a lot about gear necessarily, but I do like gear and I like buy gear all the time so yeah i definitely will be happy to do that i thought i might do like a like basically what did i end up finishing with because i had kind of changed stuff out a few times so yeah i'll totally do that david do you or have you signed the law books in the shoulders i didn't very much i guess i was just out of laziness plus kind of because of the covid stuff <laughs> i don't know i got my head i was like well, maybe i shouldn't be touching the pens and the paper or something i don't know plus Safety reasons. I don't know. There was just a few kind of weird things in the back of my head that I was like, I don't know if I really want to sign the book. So I didn't. I didn't. Um, Rose said, this is a crazy question, but I know what HOP stands for. What is the S for in his trail name? So what it was is uh, a couple other hikers, um, through hikers. Walmart and Wizard. Called him, you know, hiking with braids. Husband of Braids. And they just called him Hobbs, I guess, just because it, you know, like Calvin and Hobbs. I am more So the Hobbs S doesn't sure. technically stand for anything, I guess, unless you wanted to say, like, the S in Braids. I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, but he just uses the S, like Hobbs, you know, because it just sounded a little bit better than Hob. And like Calvin and Hobbs. My personality is totally a Hobbs, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> Angela, what do you want right in the room? You're cracking me up. Uh, be careful. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, Surf and Stream asked if you see yourself doing a long distance hike with your wife. Yeah, so hopefully that we'll get to do one of, maybe not like a six month long one, but. Maybe one that's like, you know, a few weeks or something. Maybe like next year or I don't know when. When the young ones are a little but older yeah. too. Things um, will be a lot different. Um, a lot. So let's see here. I'm trying to see if there's one I haven't answered. Oh, Bill said, what would you put in the log trail log confession at the priest? So the priest, <laughs> you won't be there. I don't think you'll... I don't think it'll be That's like probably that. a good it's thing. A I don't ways know down. what you, you, I don't know. But anyway, know. there's a shelter there, and it's after you climb Priest Mountain or the Priest Mountain. Mm -hmm. And um, so that people are like confessionals. So I don't know what I'm going to, I might sign that one, and I don't know what my confession will be yet. I don't know, but we'll see. I have to play by ear. It won't be, I mean, it's, it's trail confessions, Hattie. <laughs> good gracious. Um, I think I, did I answer everything? Answered. And sometimes you'll notice if I don't answer a question, it's just probably because I'm not wanting to answer it. <laughs> uh, so you guys, you it. oh Lord, or I missed it. Oh, uh, Julie, yes, I, um, yeah, just keep like in touch with me <laughs> so I don't forget. Melinda asked, do your kids like to hike? Um, so my kids don't like to hike. Not no. really. I mean, my daughter has done it with me a, a couple of times, and my son did it with me once. But, man, they weren't really loving it. Um, and then um, Jerry's <coughs> boys kind of liked it when they were younger. But, you know, now they're getting older. And I just, I'm kind of in the mindset that <clears throat> I don't want to force them to do it to the point of where it's, if it's just like, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to force them to do it, but I mean, I also don't want them just to sit around and not do anything either. But, um, but I think we'll try to get them back out, at least the younger ones. Yeah. While we still can, while we can still kind of, you know, be like, hey, you gotta go. You don't have a choice. Because <laughs> I didn't quite do that with my kids, and I wish I kind of wish I had. Um. Oh yeah, I don't think. I mean. Uh, Donald's asking, yeah, any chance of hiking with pigtails again? No, so I just happened to be coming through. No, I know. So why is it doing that? Coming through the area near where she 
lives and so she was able to come out but yeah i don't i don't think it's probably something like because i mean I'll be, i'm just going further south home but it was really enjoyable to, it to hike with her for a little bit her and really her mom was. were fantastic um uh so i also asked did you get the waymark pack to work out for you i mean i still have my waymark my, my waymark pack it's just at home. I mean, um, I don't know if it was like the hip belt was too big. Um, but I'm like, I'm not totally like, oh, I don't like way more gear. I mean, yeah, I still liked my pack. I really liked my pack. But um, I think she lost enough weight to where it just wasn't comfortable anymore. <clears throat> but again, I haven't it. actually tried. I haven't tried it at all. So um, we'll see when I'm off the trail and I may try it again. But I've kind of thought about ordering... Um, I like the idea of being able to order my pack the way I want it exactly, you know, everything the way I want. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know right now. Um, Tracy, how many? Oh, let's watch the time. Okay. Okay. Okay, just a few more minutes, guys, and then we'll have to let y'all go. Um, how many hikes did it take to feel comfortable hiking alone? Um, I don't know. I mean, I felt pretty comfortable alone pretty quickly. I mean, I don't really remember, honestly. But, I mean, I would say maybe a couple hikes. Um, I, I, I made some videos a while back talking about it and, like, things you can do to kind of ease yourself into hiking alone. I probably should redo that video at some point because I don't know if the quality was the best. But, um, if you get a chance, maybe you can go watch that again. It's probably easier the me to try to like go through it right now um but there's gonna be like little tricks of things you can do to kind of help make like the wanting to hike alone you know less scary so to speak um how did you find someone to show you oh well yeah that's uh <clears throat> Flash asked, how did you find someone to shuttle you? They act, um, so that was Jay and um, Denise, and they actually reached out to me. Um, and which luckily, because I guess I have my YouTube, which has been very helpful, and I have my email address on there. So they reached out and offered, um, very kindly offered. So <clears throat> um, I do, I will say that I guess if you're a through hiker or a, a, a future through hiker, it's definitely helpful. I mean, it's up to everyone's personal preference, but if you can, if you have yourself out on social media, whether it's like Instagram or even Facebook or YouTube or whatever, um, I think it will be easier to get assistance while you're on your hike than if you're very private. I mean, there's, there's still trail angels out there and there's still ways to get help, but it is different. So I guess you just have to decide if, if, you know, you want to do a through hike and you would like to get, have that opportunity to have more assistance. I mean, probably first and foremost, honestly, having a YouTube, uh, having videos because people can really relate to you through those videos and your experience, um, or at least like something like on Instagram or something. Um, but I know everybody's, a lot of people are really private and they don't want to sh share stuff like that, or they don't want to have to keep up with it. Um, I mean, I, in some ways, I, like, I hesitate because I'm like, oh, everybody's about their YouTube and their videos. I mean, I, I guess just, I feel like there should be, like, a YouTube hiking etiquette video because I think the important thing is, is, like, for myself personally, I try really hard to only video in a way that other people didn't realize I was really videoing most of the time. So, like, I wasn't being, like, obnoxious about it or annoying. So, I think that's important. But, anyway, that's probably a whole nother video. Answer that question is no. Um... Jerry, what, 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 where? That one, I've not hiked since. Yeah, Jerry has not hiked since I was gone. That's, nope. I don't know why he did that, but. I didn't hike because I wanted to be able to answer the phone in case there was an emergency situation where she needed anything. And where we live, the majority of the Smoky Mountains, there is no cell phone service at all. Oh, so a couple more questions here. So Miles Driver said, asked, uh, would I ever consider hiking the Appalachian Trail again? Right now, my answer is no. In my head, I'm like, I wouldn't. If I was gonna do a long distance hike, I'd want to do a different trail. Like I would want to see something new. 
but there's a lot of people who redo the AT over and over again. And I know a lot of it's because of the community of people and the access to towns so easy and things like that. But I like I said, I'll never say never to anything. But as of right now, I would say no. Never say never. And then Michael asked, is it hard to eat healthy on the trail? Uh, and are overall calories more important? Yes. So the answer to your question is yes. It's more important to get the calories in. I mean, if you can get healthy calories in, that's great. But I think it's trying to go out there with a the mindset of I'm going to eat really healthy. It's just crazy. Like you don't go out there with any type of diet restrictions, in my opinion. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you basically, I guess when I say eating healthy, it means eating healthy by getting a, a balanced combination of fats, protein, and carbs. And like you really do kind of need all three of those things to for your body to work efficiently on the trail. Um, and so however you can get all three of those things in, um, then I mean, and the highest amount of calories is the best. I think eating uh, as much off, as often as you can is important. And um, I mean, to keep kind of the calories going through your body um, and what was I else? I was going to say something else about it, but I've forgotten what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, um, I think a lot of because some people will say have said stuff to be like, "Oh, you're not eating enough veggies," and it's like, yeah, you don't eat veggies on the trail. You don't take that as a as part of your diet because you will get no calories. You'll have no energy, and you can't do it. So it's more like you eat that kind of stuff when you're in town. So I usually try to have like a salad or something with my burger or whatever. And then I was doing like a protein veggie powder mix every day to kind of give me some nutrients. And then I took a lot of supplements as well, like fish oil and things like that. Okay, so let's see. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I just hold my phone in my hand when I hike. It's, I'm, it's actually really simple. I would tell you, I could like do a video on it. Maybe I will eventually, but for now, if you want to see like a pretty good way to know how to video on the trail, Frozen um, Outdoor Adventures, um, Frozen from Outdoors Adventures, that's his YouTube channel. He actually did a video about like using your phone on the trail and it's a really good video. So like, I would just say go watch that one for now. And he's holding his in his hand too, I think. So that's what I would suggest. Um, are you doing anything special for gear now that it will be colder? No, I've been carrying my cold weather gear for a while. So, no, pretty much. I might switch out a, a, one of the pieces of gear for one I was carrying earlier in the year when I started, but only because I like the other thing I bought and I don't want it to like get ruined. So, I'm just going to sit at home. Um, and, uh, Miles, there are websites that you get ultralight hiking gear. I Google it and it uh, will. There's several on Facebook. Yeah, well. Facebook or Google. Um, an ultralight <clears throat> backpacking, I think that's what it's called. You might want to check into that. And favorite food on the trail. Oh, favorite town food. It's probably still french fries. I don't think I will ever get sick of french fries. What do you crave? It varies. Sometimes it's Mexican food, sometimes it's Chinese food, sometimes it's burger and fries, sometimes it's pizza. It's always a high calorie food, honestly. Sometimes, okay, sometimes I do crave like one, like a salad or like a grilled chicken or something. But at this point, I've just decided that I'm mainly just gonna focus on eating a lot of calories and eating pretty much anything I wouldn't wanna normally eat when I get off trail. Because like right now I can eat whatever I wanna eat and I don't have to worry about like, that, you know, getting too much weight or something. So right now I'm just trying to eat all of this stuff that I would be like, oh my gosh, I, could, I would never want to eat that. Like just when I'm off the trail. Because once I'm off the trail, I'm definitely gonna have to go back to a lot more healthier diet where I'm eating like grilled chicken and, you know, sweet potatoes and, and vegetables and things like that. And being more mindful of my calories. So right now it's just doing whatever I want. Um, okay. All right, last question, and then I'm gonna have to say goodbye to y'all. Uh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Are you planning to be in town somewhere? 
Uh, yeah, I'm going home for Thanksgiving. I don't think I will be done with the trail realistically. But um, yeah, I would definitely spend Thanksgiving with my, my whole family. Actually, my daughter is going to be hosting Thanksgiving this year, so I'm pretty excited That's about awesome. that. Uh, and it's going to be so awesome to see my whole family. I am so excited. So, um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Miles, A.T. Gracie commented to let you know of some places. So, but anyway. Um, all right, guys. Well, I thank you all so much for being here today. And yes, I hope you. I answered everything. I, I kind of feel like. <laughs> I they feel like I overtook everything. Aww. You didn't get to answer as much. It's okay. Um, but I like to do these live chats because I feel like I don't have the time to kind of get on YouTube and like reply to you all a lot of times or even like always like everything or even on Facebook or Instagram. And I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm like ignoring you all or that I don't want to reply or that I don't care. And I really do. I really read everyone's comments and it really is so motivating for me. Um, but it's just so much easier when I can just kind of do this where I can just kind of answer your all's questions and, or talk to you all. Um, and I know, I don't think I do as good of a job with this as I would like. Uh, I feel like I'm a little scatterbrained sometimes, but, um, it means a lot that you all come out here with, with me and with Jerry and just hang out for a little bit. And, um, I just, I've had so, I've been blessed so much. I mean, I know on one of my videos, I talked about being lucky and that luck is more how hard you work and things like that. But I have been lucky to have so many people like you all out, you know, helping me out, supporting me, just encouraging me, motivating me. And, um, helping me and Huge. between my husband and my family and you all, I mean, I, I've had a really great hike and I know sometimes it seems like when you watch my videos, you think, Oh, she's not enjoying herself, but I really have enjoyed myself. Now granted the through hike is not, it's just not always enjoyable. Every day is not enjoy, always enjoyable, but the overall experience has been amazing and I'm, I'm looking forward to what the last 500 miles is going to bring me. And, um, yeah, definitely if you live in the Virginia area, <laughs> you want to reach out by email, let me know, you know, if you are available, you know, like if you want to do any kind of troll magic, whether it's like shuttle, shuttles are like a huge thing. I'll just tell you, I think for a through hiker, shuttles are like one of the most valuable things just because you don't have a car. You have no way to get anywhere. And even if you don't stay in town, you need it to like go get your resupply and, so like that, and I, I have found that for the most part, most through hikers do not want to do extra miles. Like we don't want to do extra miles. It's just no. like you've, you're doing 2000 plus miles. You don't want to add any extra to it. And um, so anyway, yeah, but anyway, I think I've run my mouth long enough. <laughs> and so I just want to say thank you again. Oh. And um, Thank you all very much. So, um, I guess I will see you guys. Uh, I'll have a video coming out tomorrow, and then it'll probably be a few days before the next video comes out when we yeah, get we've, we've on the trail. Yeah, we've got to hit some, um, some serious mileage. <clears throat> but uh, I will look forward to seeing you guys on the comments and just, you know, I'll, the next live I do, try to make it a little bit more. <laughs> organized and maybe we can make it longer i don't know you give me some ideas you guys are the one that you all are the one that watch this stuff so you tell me what do y'all like because i mean at the end of the day i mean this is like what i'm doing this this particularly this kind of stuff you know i mean this isn't something i i have to do for my own like to remember the trail or something so this is really for you guys so just let me know what y'all would like to see <laughs> and um anyway all right, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know you me and my rambling. So uh, I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for everything. Wishing everybody the best. Thank yes. you. And if I, because I won't be doing a live chat before, I'm going to go ahead and say happy Thanksgiving to you all. And I wish you all the very best for the holidays. And But I will see you on videos very soon. Yep. So. Happy holidays. Bye.